All right, number nine, uh, book a flight to Iceland in September so you can help sort some sheep. The county has 380,000 of them, and every May, farmers release their flocks into the wild so they can graze in the highlands. Then in September, the sheep start to come down, but farmers rely on the community to retrieve and sort them before winter arrives. It's a <laughs> it so much sense. It's a tradition that dates back to the Vikings and some tour companies go. now offer special packages designed just for this. One has a horseback riding excursion where experienced riders can drive the sheep <laughs> along the last leg of their journey. Others offer multi-day tours where you stand and watch it all happen. Mm -hmm. Or you can just drive around Iceland and you'll likely stumble upon it. You just follow the sheep. So we went in August and the, the sheep were like coming up to our car window. They were everywhere. We're just driving down the road and they're coming up to your wow. car windows, which is right before September. Ah. So they were all coming down when I was there. And I was like, Who owned, are they wild? <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea. We love them. Yeah. They're very nice, but you're, yeah. you're confused on why they're yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So this makes sense. All right. All right, uh, number eight, an old piece of tech is becoming the it new fashion trend. Oh. Young kids are repurposing old iPod shuffles as hair accessories, brooches, and more. Or two people on TikTok are doing well, it. Well, Robin, it's Y2K She. They complete the look with wired headphones. It can only be described as so fetch in reference to the Mean Girls original movies. Uh, movie. Growing interest in retro tech has led brands to repurpose them into modern accessories, like a purse that doubles as a CD player. I remember when the shuffle came out, I thought it was the mm -hmm. coolest. Yeah. It's yeah. Like the coolest contraption. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a different way. Number seven, ever wonder why you cry while cutting an onion? Well, it's basically a defense mechanism to prevent it from being eaten. Onions release compounds that when you, they reach your eyes, it irritates a cor cornea, excuse me, a causing tears. So here's some of the best ways to prevent that. While chopping onions, place a fan that blows the, fa the air away from you, or put on a pair of goggles. Mm -hmm. Yes, it might look a little weird, but it actually works. Try chilling the onion in the fridge or freezer or microwave it. And some people swear that lighting a candle or holding a piece of bread in your mouth helps. But experts say those are not guaranteed <laughs> solutions. We should try all of them all at once I'm and let sure us know. Brian coming home and I got a loaf of bread in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, yeah. welcome home. Like how many onions do we need? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, number six, sorry. In 1948, Idaho's fish and game officials were trying to relocate dozens of beavers to a remote area, but there was a problem. There were no roads to get them there. So here was their solution. On the shores of Fayette Lake are <laughs> crates full of beavers, part of a shipment to be dropped in the primitive area by parachute from an airplane. Oh, dear. A conservation officer runs suspension ropes through the beaver drop box. Oh. Into the drop box. <gasps> nearly ready for that flight back into the mountain. Oh. Parachutes are attached to cargo lines, and the boxes are stacked in rows along the waist of the plane. 10 boxes to a load, 20 beaver ready for the flight to mountain meadows. The plane makes a careful approach, ready for the drop. Oh, jeez. Now into the air oh. and down they swing, down to the ground near a stream or a lake. Oh, onto the ground? Mm-hmm. A uh, box opens, and a most unusual and novel trip ends for Mr. Beaver. How does the box automatically open? That's what I can't remember. Uh, they couldn't boy. land and just, like, safely... Well, oh, let's my, see oh. what happened. I'm glad they didn't give this script to me. <laughs> what? Okay, do you want to finish it? <laughs> no, nope. don't let him. I'll let you out. No, 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 no. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope, okay. nope. No, don't let him. 76 <laughs> beavers were dropped out of a plane. One did not survive. Oh, boy. Oh! oh That's pretty good. Pretty good odds. Yeah. One out of 76 yeah, didn't make it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. If 76 people jump out of plane. 76 usually make it. Yeah. With a parachute. 
Maybe not the same. Fox. 75 situation. out of 76. Yeah. Pretty good. That's all. Okay. Given the engineering of the era, yeah. that worked out pretty well for them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Number five, we told you the other day about cowboy hats, and now they're having a moment right now. But yeah. let's not forget about the rest of the gear. <laughs> Call it Cowboy Carter Core in honor of Beyonce's country album that dropped overnight. You'll see belt buckles, cowboy boots, lots of fringe inspired by Western wear. You can go all in, head to toe, boots to your head. Or, you know, you could just dip a toe in the idea. Try some boot cut jeans or a denim shirt with some fringe. See how it feels. See if you can pull it off. And if you're like 25 or younger, you can yeah, wear whatever you, you want. Yeah, so it yeah. doesn't matter. But yeah, there you go. Uh, number four, that time Jack Black bit into a burrito and found a surprise inside. He shared the story with our producer Tyra during a recent press junket. You don't know what's in that dumpling until you take a bite. But if you're not a master chef, those dumplings are not going to hold together, and you will see the guts coming up. You see my guts, and then like it's like no one wants to eat, like no one around the table. They leave only, yeah. That that's the magic of a burrito too, just like a dumpling. Right. I don't know what's inside that burrito. Not right. for sure. You're you're just trusting what the chef says is in there. It'd be a sweet burrito. One time, oh my god, I shouldn't tell this story. I'm telling it. Why not? One time, I took a bite of a burrito. I went to this little burrito stand, and I was like, mm, delicious. Mm. Wait. No, 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 oh no! What, what's that? What, what was that? A band aid. Uh, uh, and then I looked in at the chef, and the chef's finger had a little cut on it, and a, a tan line. I was like, Oh! And a got, tan line. And a tan I got, line. I got, I got you. And a tan no, line. So this he'd is been the with... evidence is here. I think you lost something. Brother, I would have sued. And he Did gave you... me a free burrito. burrito. Oh. That's a horrible story. With the Next sprint. question. Delete that. This is not selling tickets to Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did see Kung Fu Panda 4. It was fun. It's in theaters now. That is... Uh, Can't you imagine, though, being a young guy, like, in your 20s, and uh, you're, like, you're halfway through the burrito, you're like, Man, I got a free burrito out uh, of it. I'm sure that's how that went, you know? I'm, it's like, yeah, well. I feel sick. Yeah. He didn't say when it happened. Uh, no, he no, did not. Yeah. Number three, there's a new player in the pot gummy game in New York. <laughs> Uh, Mike Tyson is selling edibles shaped like an ear with a bite mark. Didn't he do this already? I, like I think these is, are new. These are new? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did new. something like this already. They're called Mike Bites. Of course, it's a callback to that fight from 1997 when he uh, uh, bit off a piece of Evander Holyfield's ear. Hmm. Uh, they come in different flavors like Black Eye Berry and Sour Apple Punch. Well, you think Evander Holyfield would get the? I always wonder how he yeah, yeah. get the yeah, proceeds from that. Get a yeah. bite of it. Yeah. Mm. Number two on the mm. Price Is Right. You know how excited contestants can be when they get called down or win a prize. They do get really excited. It turns out they have a system in place in case they get too excited. A former producer for the show told People that they have a plan if someone pees their pants. It includes curtains, a blow dryer and an extra pair of sweatpants since they have to get on with the show, but the former producer says he never actually saw it happen while he was there, but uh. there must have been a protocol there in place for some reason. Boy. Uh. All right, okay, number one, speaking of the prices, right? It's not easy working on the show, and sometimes you just have a bad day. Hey, Cameron, how about a new car? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. uh, there goes the Ford Mustang V6 Coupe. Enjoy the performance and remember when the pedal is the brake of a 3.7 liter engine with cold air induction while you hook the turns with the help of electronic stability control. Plus paint protection, which is a brand. I don't think that was planned. You don't think so? No, she was mortified. Oh, I think she was. I think she was. I think, the car, right? I think the car's still okay. Uh, Cameron, yes. we'll get you a brand new car, I swear, <laughs> when you win this one. This, this is going to be a, a damaged used car. We'll get you a brand new car. Come on, Cameron, how's it going to Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I Price is Right is not exactly known for its bits, so. <laughs> you know? They're not known for doing, like, no, that's wacky true. stuff. That's true. I don't know. Well, there we go. That's a nine and nine. The nine and nine.